along with the King James Bible, the folio is the most important volume in English that exists. As a lover of the theatre, besides being a professional actor, I am immensely uh, grateful for the fact that the folios exist at all, because without them, a large number of plays would have been unknown. And as an actor, uh, my career would have been in tatters otherwise, because I would not have been performing in those plays, which I spent a large part of my life doing. The museum came to have the Shakespeare first folio because it was left to us in the will of a local lady. Um, her brother, John Wilkinson, um, acquired the folio in the late 1800s. He left it to his sister Anne, and then in 1936, when Anne died, it was left to us in her will. The museum's only recently been able to put the first folio on display because it's such an important piece of history and it's such a rare book, it's quite difficult to display. So we recently received some funding from Renaissance Yorkshire and also a very generous private bequest from a local lady. And that money meant that we were able to afford to purpose build the room, um, create the exhibition panels and have a display case specially made for the book. Well, I have to confess that until I was approached by the museum, I didn't know that this particular folio, or part folio as it is, uh, existed. And I certainly didn't know it was as close to where I've lived as Skipton. So I find that really exciting. Um, I learned only just now that there are only four folios on public exhibition, and one of them is here in North Yorkshire. And yes, that gives me an enormous amount of pride and satisfaction. I wish I could just find the missing comedies and return them to you. Um, but it's, a, it's a, a great asset to Yorkshire that, that we have this here. And uh, it's something which I hope should be um, broadcast and, and as well known as possible. The first folio is on permanent display at Craven Museum and it'll stay here for as long as the museum is here. <laughs>